Hey YouTube, welcome to 2012. <laughs> um, for things I like to do at the right now, yeah, at the beginning of every year, is basically go through my preps and look for like little can cans that might have gotten buried, you know, in my pantry. Um, and if anything's like expired, either either use it or throw it away or something. Um, Second thing I like to do is uh, rotate my water. I'm in the process of doing that right now. As you can see, I mean, I live in a condo, sure, but uh, people who live in condos or apartments, they generally have an extra uh, shelf on the cupboard or something where they can, things they don't really, you know, that aren't easy to reach, like the bottom shelves, like right down there. Um, basically, you can just, uh, you can just throw some water in two liter bottles in there and you're good. And then once, I mean every six months or so I'd empty it. Right after the first of the year and uh, in mid, early July sometime. And then I'm always assured that um, I have a fresh, a fairly fresh drinking water supply that's uh, useful. In fact, um, came in handy once this year when the water system here at the condo complex broke and for about 12 hours or so the place was without water. Um, one of the good things about living in the city is that there was that the condo association had access to contractors and everybody who were able to just descend on the place and uh, knock the concrete out and haul it you know dig a big hole and then fix the leak and then uh, throw it all back together again and um, within 12 hours, we were up and running again. We had a little bit of uh, rust or something in the water, but uh, it cleared out really quick. And then when that happened, uh, when it was totally cleared out, um, I topped off my supply and uh, <clears throat> went on with my life. So basically, I highly recommend that if you have uh, water storage like this, or even whatever <laughs> I highly recommend that you uh, that you rotate out your water supply and of course I also do the preps I look at the pantry and throw away old cans or uh, you put them up on my shelf for for my use so that I could get those things used and gone second thing I did was I ordered new uh, filters for my reverse osmosis water filtration ah. system this uh, system here there's the pressure the pressure tank for it and there's a couple of filters there but anyway um, I basically got a few more coming and um, this thing this little this little thing right here it's always got uh, water that's uh, filtered of uh, fluoride and uh, chlorine there might be like maybe one percent of the municipal water supply chlorine in the in that but uh, basically, it knocks it out pretty much. <laughs> and if I can avoid drinking fluoride, I will. I also highly recommend getting a uh, Berkey water system or water filtration can. And they're about so tall and got a little spigot on it. And they have like filters for various things like chlorine as well as uh, fluoride and all that other stuff. And I think that that's, that would be handy because it's mobile. And uh, but as far as for sheer convenience, instantly getting uh, water which is filtered uh, and safe, to, <laughs> pretty much safe to drink, uh, I think uh, the reverse osmosis systems are really, really handy. Uh, another thing I like to do is uh, make a journal entry um, about where I am and what my life is like right now, and then I grab. A video camera and uh, walk around my condo and say this is where I am uh, this is what's happened in my life and someday I might value that and even now I can go back to the ones I made in 2003-2004 and uh, I can see the changes in the in my life and everything around me and uh, and I can uh, sort of appreciate what the effort that has gotten me to um, the position that I'm in right now. 
So, uh, I won't be uploading that though. <laughs> um, so, well, that's what I highly recommend. If you guys, because once you guys start storing water, and I assume you already do, um, it's easy to just forget about it. And there's been times when I haven't rotated it for a year, but I really need to get on that. Now, we're in 2012. Dun, dun, dun. We might very well, if there is some kind of disaster or flood or some kind of earthquake or something, some some of the sheeple might overreact. <laughs> They'd say, ah, oh, 2012, oh, we're all going to die. But um, if that's the case, those people might very well become a hazard. <laughs> so best to avoid those people if you can. <laughs> so um, that's about it. Rotate your uh, water later.